Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how to create this really cool origami bracelet and you'll understand how the origami name originated for this bracelet in the middle of the tutorial where we start kind of folding over the bands. But anyways, this bracelet was created by my sister and um, she showed it to me. I thought it was super cool. She actually accidentally make, made this. She was attempting to make the ladder bracelet without a tutorial and she came up with this. So anyways, don't forget to give a big thumbs up to this tutorial because this bracelet is so cool. And anyways, now without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom, a hook, today I'm using a metal tipped hook. You'll also need bands in whatever colors you'd like. Today I'm using pink, glow in the dark, and mango. And this is also glow in the dark, but um, for the bracelet, for the um, actual design part here, you will need about 14 for this one single chain, which you see here is the white pearl. And then you'll need 13 of whatever color you want to be the inside chain, which here is the silver. And then whatever color you want for the loop part that goes over. So you'll need 11 of those. And then you'll need about 9 to 10 bands for the extension, which you can see here is pink. So anyways, you also need one C-clip. And now without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start with our looms, arrows pointing up. The first chain that we're going to put on is the white chain that you see here. So whatever you want in place of white, today I will be using pink. So... You're going to go ahead and start on the bottom pin and go rightwards. And then you're going to go vertically. And you're going to continue ver going vertically all the way down to the end of your loom. So just continue using single bands, one band at a time, and keep going vertically. like that. So your loom should now look something like this and we're gonna go ahead and add on our horizontal bands. So for this um, I'm going to um, be using mango and we're gonna put on the bands that make up these little curvy around part things that, like here they are in the gold mint color. So we're gonna start at the bottom of our loom. You're gonna stretch from one pin to the other like this. Go again. And you're just going to continue going horizontally throughout the end of your loom. Okay, so you should stop on the pins here, so this should be the last set of bands that you put on. And now your loom should look something like this. And we're going to go ahead and add on our white um, single chain or whatever single chain you want to be caged inside here, which is the silver. So start at the bottom of your loom. Again, we're going to use the glow in the dark or whatever color. And you're just going to start and go vertically and continue going vertically throughout to the end of your loom. Got two bands there. Okay. So when you reach the end of your loom, you're going to take one band of the same color and just close it off. Put that there. So we are now going to add on a cat band. I'm going to use the color that I used for the single chain on the right, so I'm going to use pink. Wrap a single band around the very top right pin twice. So 
you should have something like that now. And now we are ready to start the hooking process. So, start with your loom's arrows pointing down at the very bottom of your loom. The first and the only single chain we are going to hook first are the white ones. So, reach inside your cap band and grab the white band and hook over to the right like that. And you want to hook the entire white single chain up. So, just hook like you normally would if you're making a single chain bracelet. So, make sure not to accidentally grab any of those horizontal bands. Okay, so when you're to this point and you've finished hooking all of the single chains um, that run down the center here, we're now going to work with the horizontal bands. So, to start at the bottom of your loom, and for this you can use your hook or your fingers, I'm going to use my hook. So, you're just going to take your hook, grab the horizontal band, and you're going to fold it over to the other side. So, again, pick up the horizontal band, pull it off the pin, and fold it over. Make sure not to twist your hook while you're doing this. Keep the hook the same and just sandwich it over like that. So continue doing that for all of the horizontal bands. Like that. I'll give you a little bit more of a zoomed in look at this. So I'm not twisting the band at all when I'm picking it up. I'm not turning my hook or anything. Okay, I'm on my last one here. Do the same exact thing. Just like that. So your um, loom should now look something like this. And now we are ready to hook the uh, pink single chain on the left. Okay, I had to take a sip of water because my throat was getting dry as you can hear in the last clip. But anyways, we're going to go ahead just go inside the cat band and grab the first band, hook upwards, and then continue hooking the entire single chain. So. Make sure you go inside that horizontal band that we folded over. Go inside of it and grab. Now when you're to this point, we're going to hook this last chain link here and hook that over like that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take a color of your choice. For this, I'm going to use white. This is going to be the color that you use for the extension since this won't be long enough for your entire wrist. So take a single link of that, stick your hook inside of all these bands here, pull it through the side, and grab this link pull it through and place the end on your finger on your hook. So that way you've created a, a link here. And you can just slide this up your hook a little bit so it won't fall off. And we can now remove everything from our loom. Oops, that was my phone. So you should now have something like this and I think my color combo looks awesome. We're going to go ahead and make the extension now. Take your loom, you can start with the arrows pointing down, and you just want to create um, links enough to make this fit around your wrist. 
For me personally, I'm going to be doing 10 links. So, I'm starting with my arrows pointing down. I'm going to be using glow in the dark for my extension. So you're just going to make a single chain. Since our arrows are pointing down, then you want to make sure you start putting on bands from the top of your loom down to the bottom. But you can do this any way you'd like if you have a different method that you'd like to use for your extension. So I'm just giving you kind of a big full view of my loom here. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So, zoom back in here. You should have something like this. And we're going to go ahead and take the bracelet off of our hook and slide this onto the very bottom pin. And then we can start hooking. So just hook upwards to the top of your loom. Sorry, that was my elbow rubbing on the table. This always happens in my videos. Okay. Okay. So once you've finished hooking your um, extension, just grab your C-clip and slide all those bands that are on the pin onto the C-clip. After that, you can safely remove everything off of your loom. Slide that out of the way. Then take your C-clip and attach it to the cap band that we placed over here. Right there. And we are now finished with this super cool origami bracelet. And that is pretty much it. So I really hope you like this super cool origami bracelet. Once again, my sister showed me this design that she came up with, and I think it is so cool. Now you understand why we called it the origami um, bracelet, because of the folding over the bands, kind of, when uh, we did the, like these loop around bands. Anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out. A lot of you asked me if my sister has her own YouTube channel or at least an Instagram account and right now, no, she does not. But anyways, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and find me on all my social media sites linked down in the description box below. If you do make this bracelet, be sure to hashtag a picture of it to hashtag tutorials by A on Instagram because I love looking at pictures of bracelets that you make using my tutorials. So anyways, Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!